Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. I wanna all night. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. So in today's video, I'll be reviewing some recoil hair and I actually got sent in some of their short body wave hair and it is a 13 by 4 lace with 180% density and they sent me over this really cute bag with some goodies in it and first I got me this really cute bonnet and y'all really love this bonnet so so much. Next in the bag was the edge brush and some clamps just for the hair. And they also sent me in a comb, and it's really pretty, this light pink. And they sent in two wig caps because who doesn't need a wig cap when applying a wig? And then lastly, they sent me in this really pretty green headband. And now getting into the hair, I'm just going to show y'all all of the info about the hair that's on the box. <music> y'all as y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail your girl's gonna be installing this 13 by 4 full frontal wig and y'all this is my second time i was gonna say my first but it's my second time installing a wig and it's my first time actually installing a full wig and as y'all can see the part that you can see ain't in the middle no more it's right right here but give me some tips like as y'all watch this video give me some tips on some stuff i could do to like fully lay my lace like to where i ain't got nothing showing and just give me tips on other stuff too and y'all i think i did really good like you can see this part of the lace but i think i did really good to say it's my first time installing a um full frontal wig so period uh, this is a 16 inch body wave wig from recoil hair so make sure y'all click the link down in the description box to check that out so just stay tuned to see how i achieve this look and don't forget to give me some tips down in the in the comments, I was gonna say in the description box. Don't get to give me some tips and like, you know, just let me know what I did wrong or let me know what I need to do, period. So yeah. So hopping right in y'all, I'm just going in with my ball cap that was sent to me with the wig. And this time, thankfully, I didn't forget to cut out the ears. y'all watch my last video y'all know i said i want to try some lace glue this time and let's just say i should have just sticked with the ebon because y'all y'all will literally see this lace glue i don't know if it's because it was cheap i never heard of this jolly bond kind before i just got it because it was the cheapest one but i really do think the price matters but y'all this lace glue did not dry for nothing like literally y'all will see my cap white y'all will see me trying to dry it like to have it clear and everything and it literally would not work like bro outside in an amg right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me still with the girls that i grew beside all the niggas around me right of the guy gotta watch the time because it's fine right by i'm outside in an amg right outside tt Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, right? So at this point, y'all, I was so frustrated that I decided to go in with my Ebb and Lace Bond glue that I used in my last video to lay my hair and my ball cap. And I just put that on it, like just trying my best not to get it on my actual hair and edges. So now I'm just going in with the razor to cut off the ball cap. Oh, I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know. Certain things just started getting pissed off. Think we need to have a sun and finish I could be a man, but maybe down the road. Right now, I'll be able to see my heart. Listen, seeing you got ritualistic. 
hands in my soul of a big ship for now Cause I'm falling apart Between us just like big fences You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling to get the excess lace bond glue off my forehead and thankfully it wasn't as much as I had last time but y'all was so mad that the lace glue like the jolly bond like dried like that so anyways now I'm going in with some of my ebon lace tint in a color light warm brown and just spraying it on a ball cap next time I will actually get makeup I don't know if I said it in my last video but the next video y'all see me doing a wig I will get makeup because this ain't working you're here <laughs> <laughs> now y'all i'm going in and taking down my flexorize that i put in two days before i think and the only reason i do flexorize y'all is because i cannot curl for nothing like i have a flat iron and a curling iron and i cannot curl for nothing so i'll definitely be watching tutorials learning how to do that so I actually did over bleach the lace but once I put it on you couldn't really tell as much as I thought you would be able to tell but now I'm just sizing up the lace on my head and I don't know why I had a genius brilliant idea to cut the lace when it wasn't on my hair but let's just say that will never be happening again okay <laughs> I don't know why I thought the lace bond glue was going to dry differently than it wasn't on the ball cap, but y'all will see that it definitely did not work. It did not dry properly. I don't know what's up with this lace glue. Like, literally, it just, I don't know, y'all. But the first layer dried. It was the second layer. And when I tried to put the wig on, it did not stick. So I had to end up going in with my Evan Lace Bond spray glue. And that ended up working. And it wasn't as messy as it was in my last video. Get cut my lace before I put it on my head but I would definitely never do that again this was so hard to do like really it was so hard and like I said next time I would definitely get some makeup powder so that I could put on my ball cap and on my lace because I feel like that the lace would have definitely turned out differently if I had some makeup that matched my skin tone on it now I'm going in and cutting the ear part of my lace and actually I didn't cut enough because every time I tried to put my hair behind my ear it would be like bunched up and I knew I needed to cut more. I was just afraid to cut the hair. But then I watched videos and seen people cutting the hair. So next time I would definitely cut it enough. But then I just went in and tried to lay the lace more 
and cut the lace even more too. So I'm going in to take out the edges y'all and as y'all can see this wig definitely was not plucked enough but actually I decided right after well a day after I filmed this video I decided to go get the Revlon tweezers and let's just say the next wig y'all see me with will be plucked to the gods okay let's get into this hair okay this body wave y'all is giving the girls what it's supposed to be gave period Now I'm just going in with one of my wax sticks to put on top of my hair and then I'm going to use my hot comb to lay down any flyaways making sure it's flat. this have me so so mad because why didn't I cut more of that lace off like bruh what was I thinking but anyways y'all y'all can really tell that I tried to pluck but those little cheap tweezers they was not getting the job done I actually did pluck more of this wig off camera with the Revlon tweezers and it worked like good good now I'm going in with some Lottie Body Mousse, just trying to do the edges, y'all. And I actually did pull out uh, way too many edges, and I was not supposed to pull out that many. But y'all actually see me try to flat iron the edges to curl them, and it definitely did not work. So I would definitely be investing in me one of those pencil flat irons. But I just put on the elastic band to try to lay the lace even more. And as y'all can see, it really didn't do anything. And I was not planning on doing a middle edge this time, y'all. But that lace in the middle was just getting to me that I had to pull an edge out right there. So I'm just cutting that and doing a little edge right there. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time. So y'all this is the finished look make sure y'all really give me some tips and tell me what i could do to make the lace better period y'all so i'm um, finally done as y'all seen your girl was a low-key struggling but we made it through we made it through it's my first time actually doing a full frontal wig because my last time i did the closure wig but i really do think i did good as y'all can see you can see this part of the lace this part <laughs> And like I said in the beginning, y'all, just give me some tips on some stuff that I should do. And I definitely will be doing it because I have more wigs on the way that I will be doing videos on. So I really need to up my game, period. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video because I enjoyed doing it. Let me stop lying. Sis, I was stressed out while I was doing this hair. Stressed. That's what I mean, stressed. I just can't stop playing in it. Like, it's just so soft and everything, but... Your girl was stressed while doing this, but like I said, y'all give me some tips down in the comments and I will be sure to take them and use them or try to use them. So just stay tuned for my next video. It won't be a hair video more than likely. It will be like a vlog or something, but just stay tuned for that. And I love y'all and wait, I love y'all and peace out. Hello stranger, spin Minute.